Hello learners, welcome to Manifested Online Classes. We are still continuing to build, uh, build up our tips on uh, the topic on loci. So in the last uh, lesson, we solved a few uh, questions and I gave out two uh, assignments for you to go and work out. So we shall go straight to working out the solutions uh, for the questions I gave. Looking on the board, we have the first question of the assignment. State and sketch the locus. A rectangle A, B, C, D is resting on a vertical plane. Is resting on a vertical plane. It is given a horizontal translation. It is given a horizontal translation or movement eh, by a vector perpendicular to AB. By a vector perpendicular to AB through a fixed distance. Fixed distance. Describe the locus. So when we go to the solution, that's question 12. Huh? Question 12. So in the requirements, there is a sketch. So we start with the sketch. We start with the sketch. That's the rectangle. Still going to a definition. When you see a rectangle, that's no longer a point or a line. It is a region. So that stimulates to you to what it's likely to, uh, to come out at the locus. So we shall get to that as we continue. So we go to the other law. This is part of the law. It's a rectangle. So it is stimulated. It is uh, enticing you to what you are likely to get. It is given a horizontal translation. A translation is a movement by a vector perpendicular to AB. Perpendicular. On the rectangle, you can see AB. Isn't it? So if it is AB, if it is given a translation, Isn't it? This should be 90, 90 degrees. Huh? That is the direction of translation. It is horizontal. So that is the direction of translation. So if it is moved, it is moved. It will carve out something. You will carve out. This will be the initial position. So you are likely to have a final uh, So if it is moved, isn't it? So in reflection, they'll talk of an image. So the rectangle will not remain at the same point. So instead of having this point A, B, will be translated to a new position, which you can write as B prime, 
C moves to a new position. C prime A moves to A prime D moves to D prime. And you can say that's the final final position. And this was the bold one is the initial. From that, uh, this the initial and final. As it moves, it is curving out, uh, isn't it? Isn't it? It has curved out uh, a box, something like a box. Eh? The translation. has curved out uh, out a cuboid as seen in the board. And all these vertices have moved equal distance because the movement was fixed. So you'll go to simply and say the locus is what? A cuboid. The locus is a, cu a cuboid. So be very careful. Since we had a region, A, B, C, D, a rectangle, that is a region. Isn't it? A plane. In most cases, when you move planes, they'll carve out solids. They'll carve out something tangible, a solid, something you can hold. So the locus is a cuboid. So be very careful on the laws. Given a region or a plane, you'll get something like a solid. You'll get some volume. You'll get some vo volume. You'll get some vo volume. We go to the question 13. Question 13. A solid set square is rotated about one of its shorter sides through 360 degrees. So you need a sketch. And before you go to the sketch, is a set square a line or a plane? Is it a line or a plane? A set square is a plane. So as we go to the sketch, uh, that is question 13. As we go to the sketch, a set square is this one. So it is rotated. That square, set square is rotated through 360 degrees. This is a 360 rotation. So when you rotate it, eh, it will curve out. Eh? Or to substantiate that, eh, we shall need eh, a more defined to build up on the same using a, a pair of compass. So I'll just explain that using the compass. So that was your set square. Set square. Because of space, I had to move out to the other. So just sketching what will happen. If that is the set square. It will have to move through new positions as it will have to move through new positions. Huh? love to move through more new positions 
to love to move so if you look very well as it moves eh, it will be carving out a solid you realize a set square is a plane or a region so from the geometrical shapes you learned about you realize eh, isn't it this will be 360 degrees so the locus is what what we call a cone the locus is what we call a cone so be very careful the set square itself is this is a plane or a region If it is a plane or a region, it curves out a solid. That's why we get a cone. You can say the locus is a cone with a the side it rotated on on as the radius. So you'll find this will be now like with the ray, the radius. It is the side it rotated on, but the punching one is the locus is a core, a cone. That will be uh, the answer to that. So just to brush up, to brush up uh, on most of the things uh, we've been doing, there is a last question I'll do, which is. Question 14, to sum up uh, what we've been doing. There is question 14. Uh, I'll need to write it first on the board. So I'll create space here. So straight to the question and the solution. Question 14, sketch the locus of a cyclist who moves such that he is one meter from the edge of the road, from the edge of the road. So as usual in the question, we start with a sketch. Note that in this question, the cyclist is taken as a point. It's not a plane. So you start with the sketch in the solution. So you look at the diagram. You are told it is maintaining what? One meter from the edge of the road. This is the edge. Eh? So note that in that question, the cyclist is taken as a point. It's not a plane. So realize this will be the locus. Eh? This is the path, which you will describe as the locus. The locus is a straight line parallel. to the edge of the road and one meter from the road from that edge. So you simply get a line parallel uh, you'll get a line parallel to the road, the edge of the road, and actually one meter from that edge. That gives you the solution to that question. And as we end up, I think the definition of the 
locus has been shown in most of those questions. So as we meet for the next lesson, you should have brushed on most of those tips to enable you to continue in the best way possible. So have a nice time in working the question and have a good time. Thank you.